Hi, welcome. My name is Bill Skelton, and uh, this is Joel, a genetic dry fly rooster. If you know your birds, this is a wannabe Cree. It's kind of a barred ginger hackle up here on his cape, and down here on the saddles, he's a bit of a Cree. And I just wanted to show you him uh, for the next weekend here. I'm going to be selling two local legends fly fishing estates, Ed Koch from the Boiling Springs area, Pennsylvania, and Ed Shank from Carlisle, who recently passed away in April. And I'm fortunate enough to have acquired their fly fishing items. And we're set up in Mount Holly Springs, Pennsylvania. And this Saturday at 8 o'clock, we're going to open, and I'm going to show you some of the merchandise that's going to be available to you. Um, we'll be open Saturday, Sunday, and then Memorial Day. And if you are planning on coming, please bring a mask, some type of face covering. I appreciate it very much and hope to see you here. Let's get started. Let me show you some of the items uh, for Ed Shank and Ed Coke that are going to be available for sale here. You can take a look. Here's various tackle bags. Uh, there's Bass Pro, Cabela's, L.L. Bean there. In this corner you have a couple of old, probably 50 plus year rod carries. They were for bamboo back in the day. A lot of the boxes here we haven't unpacked as of yet. Fly tying tools, materials. Uh, we've got a few rods here. Uh, Orvis, a couple of things. You can see here boxes and boxes of items, fly tying materials, lots of things, magazines, catalogs. We'll get to them and we'll get them up. Starting over here, we have Ed Shanks items. Um, we have some of his waiting shoes, L.L. Bean, Orvis, Cabela's. These are brand new. Uh, fish pond, Sims, all nice stuff. Uh, Orvis bag. Over here we have Ed's book, Fly Rod Trouting. Ed put a lot of pictures in him. And it's real nice. Uh, nice regal vices. A uh, little rod Ed built that he played with. Looks like an old sage rod tip. Uh, chess box, another chess box, a couple of nets. Over here we have reels. The nice reels are the Hardys, uh, the CFOs. He has his salmon reels here, Lamson. Ed like to put his name on a lot, a lot of the items he would write on. Nice leather case, uh, reel bags, Orvis reel bags. And then these are Ed Koch's reels. Um, you've got little CFO twos. Uh, you've got little fly weights. Both of these guys like short rods and light lines. You've got some feather weights, a couple other hardies. Here's two neat reels. Uh, they're Weber Crafts. Um, back in the 60s, and I'll show you a catalog, they sold for $5 each. And they're nice light reel. Here's some of his flies. Here's some Latort Crickets and Latort Hoppers. Um, here's some Sculpins. And we're going to bag up a lot of crest bugs and white minnows. I have quite a few of his flies, and we're going to offer those uh, the best price we can. Real nice rod, a prototype Highlander Walt Carpenter bamboo rod. I haven't measured it yet, but it's about six feet. It's gorgeous, one of a kind. It's for a four or five weight. Over here, more rod bags. That's an Orvis. Uh, here's an old Orvis. Again, this thing's probably 50, 60 years. You can see Ed's name on it. Uh, there's an obel case, the plastic, with his name. Uh, fish pond bag, nice bag. Um, that was his salmon bag. We're going into Ed Koch's tackle now. We've got a nice Lee Wolf six-footer, back to about 1975. There's a Uselin eight-foot bamboo there. And then we've got Ed's books, Fishing the Midge, Terrestrial, a variety of them. He wrote about a half a dozen books. And those are not autographed, but we do have Charlie Fox and Ed Koch books that he has autographed. Here's a rod Ed built, probably a, a Norvis rod. It's a two-tip bamboo. Here's one of, uh, I think, six vices. 
Ed had made one for his wife and one for each of his children, and they have the initials on them. And it's a gorgeous vise. It's just for midges. You couldn't put a size 14 dry fly in it. It's just for midges, all stainless steel. And over here, you've got more tackle. That is Ed Cokes. You've got an Orvis rod, Bamboo Deluxe. You've got a St. Croix six and a half footer, another cane rod six and a half. Again, the guys were into short rods. And we have a couple of catalogs that will be available. Um, these go back into the early 1960s when Ed Shank and Ed Koch were partners in a fly shop in Carlisle. Here are a dozen or 15 rods that are Ed Shank's rods. And I forgot one, but I have a nice Winston nine foot, six weight, five piece that uh, has Ed Shank's name on it. It's a beautiful rod. And uh, it, there's a TFO rod and um, there's a Sage. These are rods that, quite a few of them, Ed has his name on them and he rewrapped them. He stripped the guides down and rewrapped them. There's a new Sage that is not stripped down. Um, this one is a Latour brand that I gave him back in about 1979 when I hooked Ed Shank and Joe Humphreys up to run the fly fishing schools for a mail order business that I managed called Latort Limited. Latort Limited in Bowling Springs. Here's a rod um, that I received from Ed Shank and it has Charlie Fox's name engraved in the case and the bottom of it, the rod was made for Charlie Fox. It's kind of, again, some of this is interesting. It's all one of a kind. Um, some of them are just store-bought. Some cheapies too. There's an old Shakespeare. And here's one, two, three, um, all very small corks. He liked the small handles. Has his name, Ed Shank, written in ink on them. Over here we have uh, just some items that aren't for sale, they're just to look at. But um, we have uh, when he was inducted into the Pennsylvania Fly Fishing Museum. And over here, um, those of you that remember William Conrad, a detective, you're probably drawing Social Security if you remember this guy, but he was a TV star that came into the area and fished with Ed. Here's a book that 65 years with a fly rod that he'd never published. Here's a collection of his magazine articles. I think there's 60 some articles. And another one, this is called book three. It's a little different. It was not published either. And uh, I don't know if you know, but Ed Shank uh, is a bit of an artist and he illustrated all the artwork in his book. And this is a never sink skater, a Hewitt skater. A gentleman in New York came up with this idea. And here's what the fly looks like when it's tied. And there, there it is. So, um, and we'll have some additional artwork available. And here's just some pictures. Uh, there's Ed Shank with a big trout, Old George. And there's Ed Koch writing to Ed Shank when he caught his nine pounder on the Latour. Uh, in this room, we have uh, mostly framed prints. Uh, most of them were Gerald Putt prints. These are all Bowling Springs Lake. Uh, they're all numbered. And again, these are Gerald Putts. Uh, down here is a Charlie Fox picture with two of his lures. And down here is about 30 prints from Ned Smith to Ron Jenkins to Mark Cicino, George Levanish. Our second room, we've got a Dave Weaver and we have more Gerald Putt pictures, some with remarks, some not. Bowling Springs pictures, Bowling Springs. Uh, over here is more lake pictures. And here's Gerald Putt's foxes, gray foxes. Uh, here's first of state uh, trout and salmon prints. Uh, you've got Ed Koch flies in there, and Ed Shanks, and Charlie Mex, and Bob Clousers. You've got two of my flies in there and Mike Santa of uh, Pittsburgh, his flies. And that's a Mark Cicino and a nice remark. This is something a fellow named Charlie Ports down in Maryland framed of all mids flies. I hope you can make it in. We'll have this packed and we'll have everything priced and uh, we open Saturday morning at eight o'clock.